Lord Chum. We've just got to think of some way to get into that dance. But we don't have a thing to wear. All our clothes are eaten by that small malocus. There's got to be a way. If we just put our heads together, I know we can come up with a plan to get some new dresses. But the dance is tonight. We only have an hour. And that's not nearly enough time. We'll never make it. And we'll never meet all those single handsome millionaires. What will our gals do? Will they find a way to get three new ball gowns in time? Or will they miss the biggest chance of their lives to catch millionaire husbands? Tune in same time tomorrow for the next installment of Three Smart Gals. And coming up in just 15 minutes, it's the exciting episode you've been waiting six months for on Invitation to Danger. Will our boys finally unmask the criminal mastermind known as the Hooded Terror? Or will evil triumph over good? That's Invitation to Danger tonight at 8 o'clock. But coming up next, sit back and enjoy 15 minutes of big band music live from the Stardust Ballroom, where revelers are already beginning to dance away the final hours of 1940. Oh, 
ran off together, don't ask. Uh, say something deep and impressive. Here, enjoy the show. Um, and uh, somebody wake up, buddy. Uh, Skip, you're going to have to do the commercial. There's no one of these that's on the commercials. Patsy, you're going to have to play the organ. Mindy, uh, and somebody please wake up, Mindy. buddy. You need to do the fun. And you know what that means? Are you ready for action? Are you ready for excitement? Are you ready for suspense? Then hold on to your seats because here's your invitation to danger. <laughs> Tonight, join us for the final thrilling episode of The Hooded Terror. But hideous twisted face lies behind the chilling black mask of a deadly madman who's been terrorizing the world as The Hooded Terror. Stay tuned for the final exciting chapter. Invitation to Danger is brought to you by Mother Grady's Wholesome Homemade Oatmeal. For breakfast time, cookie making, or a frustrating poultice, Mother Grady is there when your old mother isn't. And to buy Father McGargle's Wild and Woolly Winter Green Gum. If it doesn't stick to your molars, it ain't Father McGargle's. <laughs> and to buy Savannah Sweeties Sensationally Sugary Candies. Savannah Sweeties Sweet is our middle name. And now, are you brave enough to accept an invitation to danger? Are you really, truly ready to accept an invitation to danger? <laughs> well, we let us know. The flames are raging closer and closer to our heroes who are tied to kegs of gunpowder. The flames are roaring all around them. The smoke is choking them. They have only moments to live before the dynamite blows them. The kingdom come. Can this be the end of our brave lives? <coughs> Steve, Pete, can you get free? <coughs> no, Blackie, I'm tied up tighter than a courtier to all madness. Too. What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, Pete, Pete, you still have your uh, trusty pocket knife that you sent me great teacher, Miss uh, Kortinsky, gave you? Well, yes, the trusty knife that saved our lives so many times before. Pete, Pete, Pete. He snapped out from the, from the smoke and, and the fumes. They, 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 they must have uh, overcome him. So now what do we do? <laughs> it looks like we, even the rats are getting out of here before the place blows up. The flames are coming closer. What? I said the flames are coming closer. If Pete can't wake up and get to his trusty pocket knife, we're screwed. <laughs> There's no other way uh, out of this thing. There's got to be some other way out. We're going to die. Uh, a short time later, uh, 
uh, back in the boys' headquarters. I am glad to be back here. Oh, I, I mean, I, I'm glad to be back here. Oh, that, uh, that smoke, it, it, it sure gave me a frog in my throat. That was a mighty close call. Oh, no, see, 
York. Hey, this is the worst dive in town. It, it is full of rough men, white slavers, hard liquor, and women of questionable virtue. Well, then, Miss Burnett will fit right in. <laughs> You ask anyone, Pepe Fiita is the best guide and taxi driver in all South of the Quarters. Then why are we here? I've never seen a more despicable group of rogues and cutthroats in my life. That may be true, senor. Ida, but this is where I was told to bring you. No, no, listen closely. Hotel Imperial. Not by you, senor, by my Pepe. We're getting out of here right now. And going inside if you are knowing what is good for you. Considering the gun you're pointing at us, I'd say you've convinced us. <coughs> Hello, darlings. This is being my epic. Wait a minute, uh Aren't you? Yes, it is I, Shine High Sal, the most ruthless and mysterious female crime boss in all of South of the Border. Why have you brought us here? Th that is what I am sure you are asking yourselves. <laughs> well, I shall tell you. I have important information for you. Pepe, drinks for our guests. Never mind the hospitality, sister. Just tell what information you're talking about. You are trying to catch the mysterious man with the black hood, no? Perhaps I can be of assistance. But what do you know about the hooded terror? More than you, beautiful white-skinned American woman. Um, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Why would you want to help us capture him? I would think you're both on the same side. We are. But this time he has gone too far. You see, he has kidnapped my father. What? See? And so now you are understanding why I should like to see him caught and punished it. Recently, I discovered it in the hood of terror was. How you say? Stockpiling explosives in a warehouse near your headquarters. So it was you who sent us the torn note that led us there. See, I was in the hope that you would be finding some sort of clue there that would lead you to the evil one's hideout and the whereabouts of my father. But we almost got killed in that warehouse. That's right, sister. They were waiting for us. They knew we were coming. I guess that means you must have tipped them off. No, the note must have been intercepted. It, 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 it. Or perhaps the hooded one has a spy among my men. I swear to you that I did not send you knowingly into that trap. I am wanting to see my father safely rescued, and you are the only ones who can be doing that. If I try something myself, the spy will surely inform the hooded one, and I will fail. So you want us to do your dirty work, eh, sister? I will be helping you out in any way I can. I know one way you can help me out. <laughs> <gasps> ow! Oh! Ah! Oh! Damn mosquitoes! Oh! Ah! The best way to help us out is to tell us where to start. The hooded one took my father just one week ago from his laboratory in Saskatchewan. You must begin your search there. Perhaps you will be finding a clue to lead you to where he's been taken. Now, it is not safe for you to be here any longer. You must go quickly. Bebe, show them out. A laboratory. So our father is some kind of scientist. Hasn't there been a rash of disappearing scientists in the last few months? I'll bet dimes to donuts. The hooded terror has been behind it all. But collecting brilliant scientists, what's his game? The only way we'll get the answer is to go to Saskatchewan ourselves. <laughs> Miss Mumgun, pack your woolies. We're heading north. And if your touches get cold, you can snuggle up. Well, oh, thanks, Blanky. I always open that. And soon our heroes are winging their way to the frozen north, to the land of polar bears and igloos. The beauty of the northern lights and the cold embrace of an icy death.
mind on the mission, Blackie. I like sweeties and bikinis, too. To, to talk to and exchange recipes with. But let's not forget the hooded terror has been one step ahead of us the whole time. It's as if he knows our every move before we do. We've got to keep our wits about us. You said it, Miss Mungai. Now let's take a look around this lab for clues. <laughs> Over was a professional. I wonder if he found what he was looking for. There could be a clue right in front of our faces and we wouldn't know it. Hey, something's moving around in those shadows. Who's there? Dr. 
Wally. If I was behind Professor Michael's kidnapping, do you honestly believe that I would identify that quick in his mind? Then, if it's not you, who? Don't you know any of you? Hilda, what are you doing with that gun? So the helpful lab assistant is a system more forces than one. Quiet! You are very clever, you three. Maybe too clever for your own good. Come on in, boys. She's been shot! 